Hey guys, Luca here with my first PvE build for the new DLC, The Ascending Tide. There's one big change in terms of builds in this patch, this one here. Player abilities that scale with your offensive stats, such as weapon damage and max stamina, will now dynamically scale with the highest of your offensive stats. What does it mean? It means every Magicka class can use stamina abilities without damage loss and every stamina class can use any magic ability without damage loss. Just an example. I use Deadly Cloak on my Magicka Necromancer, which deals physical damage, right? But skates now with my highest offensive stat, which is spare damage. Not like before with weapon damage, so it doesn't matter what kind of status damage you do, like poison, flame, physical, bleed, frost, etc. It skates now with your highest offensive stat. Not only the damage will get boosted tremendously, also the sustain will be extremely high since we use both resource pool, stamina and magicka. It will be definitely an interesting patch with unusual hippo builds as well as some PvE and PvP. I tried to make PvE builds for every class like in every patch, but now let's start with my magicka necromancer PvE build. Here we go with the build, Reliquin on the body, the strongest single target stamina set out there on a Magicka class. It did almost 10k single target, but keep in mind Reliquin is only worth it for static boss fights, like for example Cunius Aegis, then one slime for extra crit rate, and killed as mythic item. We are on 6 medium, 1 light. We will have penetration problems, which means one of the tanks has to play Ikosh for the extra pen. But we gain a ton of crit damage and spell damage. Sustain is not an issue with all those stamina abilities slotted. Then advancing Yokida on the front bar with two daggers, Nerf charged, and back bar still the MSA Inferno stuff. Trades full divines. Full but thirsty, Nirm charged with poison and flame damage enchant and baked by infused with the Berserker Glyph. Alternative setups instead of Reliquin for dynamic boss fights like Cloudwars Asylum. Barzais is still a good alternative even if they nerfed it for 3% from 15% to 12% damage done. Instead of Barzais or Reliquin, Seroria is also possible here. Instead of advancing Yukida, Kinras for Major Berserk and Minor Berserk for your group mates. And Zogwin is also a good alternative here. Big changes on the skills. Still Barb Trap for Minor Force here. And for it deals 4k single target now. Then Stalking Blast Bones still, a Deadly Cloak instead of Scowling Rune, super powerful stamina ability and it gives Mage Evasion, I think it did 7 to 8k single target, Detonating Siphon still in a light, Flawless Stormbreaker just slotted for the extra spell damage, Back Bar, Avid Boneyard, Unstable of Fire and Caltrops. Yes, Caltops, the longer morph, 15 seconds one. It did almost 5k single target. And that's an AoE, so pretty decent. Mystic Orb and Skeletal Archer instead of the Mage. It did slightly more damage. I think 1k more. And Shooting Star as ultimate. In dungeons or raids, you probably need to use the Colossus still. The Glacial or the Pestilian Colossus for major vulnerability. Race, Dark Elf is the best way to go. With the extra spell, weapon damage and the extra Magicka and Stamina. Especially the Stamina Pool, which we need for all those Stamina abilities. Mundu is still the same, Thief for extra crit rate. But I changed the buff root instead of Ghastly Eyeball, we can use the green. Max Magica food. This one here, over 6k Max Magica. 
we have no sustain issues with all the stamina ability slotted. So super nice here. You can also use this one here in raids for extra HP. But for full damage, definitely the green one, worth it. Potions, we have two options here. The normal spare power potions or even the heroism potions. If you have success to a DK with mortal armaments for the spare power, a major sorcery with spare power damage buff, then you can use heroism potions for more ulti regen. But keep in mind those are really really expensive, so not worth it for just for fun raids, more for triad raids or dungeons. CPs, Tamaturge, Master at Arms, Biting Aura and Backstabber. If you can't flank the enemy, just put out Backstabber for Fighting Finesse and your Gucci. Red ones, Boundless Vitality, Rejuvenation, Fortified and Celerity. There are many options here, you can also use Bastion, Shield Master, the Spirit Mastery, that kind of stuff. Slippery or even Expert Evasion, which I used in Cloud Rest. I used a full dot rotation. Just keep up your dots until one expires and reapply it again. Use Blast Bones every third skill. I recommend to use a skill tracker like Action Duration Reminder or just the in-game one. Nothing complicated. If you have questions, type them down below. I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. Now enjoy the pass and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!